Hello there, Scorpio. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are going to be doing your June career and money tarot reading. So we'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. Um, and if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have here? Narrow pathway tread thoughtfully and I'm going to check on the bottom protected by angels okay so I feel like at this time you know you may feel like you don't have a lot of options you know like uh, um you know the narrow pathway indicates that you know um you know here's the pathway up here and it's kind of like yeah there's no options there's no exits to the highway and you know when we're in that type of situation when you really and truly feel like you know in your career money sector like i don't have any options this is you know like all i have right now it's also understanding that you are being protected right now by your angels um you are cherished and that you know things will change more options will come not to to fret sometimes when we are in this type of energy we get really concerned are there ever going to be any options are things going to open up for me so let's go to the tarot let's get some more details and some advice for you from spirit so we're going to take a look at your present energy any areas of resistance or obstacles um your advice from spirit, and then finally the outcome if you take it, the advice. But I do want to say you have free will, so you can always choose to make the decision you think is best for you. All right, down below we have hidden motivations. Okay, so, you know, I feel like there are, there's this um, a sense of wanting a new beginning, of wanting to go in a new direction. So you're perhaps looking in your career and money sector for an exit, you know, from this narrow pathway. It's kind of like, yeah, I want another option. I only have this one option at this time. I want more options. Um, and because of that, you're feeling a little bit of, you know, lacking, like you don't have the money that you want or the recognition that you're looking for. There's something, you know, that that you feel like you don't have at this time um, but you have to uh, sometimes be you know a little careful with the hidden motivations it's um, sometimes when we get a little bit in this energy our fears our ego is trying to protect us right because you're your ego right now might be saying, oh my goodness, Scorpio, I don't, you know, I, I don't see any exits. You know, we're, we're going to have to be on this path forever, you know, and you may um, be feeling more pressure at work or, you know, maybe you're getting a pay cut, you know, um, because, you know, of just the economy or something like that. And you're just like, starting to feel the pinch maybe in your financial sector or the options in your career sector, right? So this is the only job available. I better, you know, in my career right now, I, sector, I better, I better stay on this path right now. Um, so sometimes when we get into that energy, then what we tend to do is start making decisions out of fear instead of out of the heart. So um, we're going to take a look at the tarot because I feel like you have some decisions coming up or you have a decision coming up in the month of June and you want to make sure that you're doing that for your highest good and not making a decision out of fear. So let's see how this plays out. I mean, these are nice cards here, Scorpio. <laughs> it's kind of like this is this is like one energy and then the cards here are like another energy um okay so ace of cups there's your heart space putting the love into whatever the situation is um not you know um as much as you possibly can try to alleviate the fears you know um and that can be difficult especially when money is you know your money or your options um are, are kind of tight that can be really difficult um sometimes when we get into that energy it really is about talking to your spirit guides and angels and asking for their help 
um, asking for their guidance, asking them to help alleviate some of your fear and your anxiety in this situation. Um, because you have this card here, it does mean that you are protected. All will work out in your highest good as long as you keep making choices that are from the heart and not from the ego, okay? So it's kind of like you have this energy of being optimistic about the future, about being able to move out of these um, troubled waters, turbulent waters into calmer waters. You're optimistic about it at this time, which I think is lovely, right? Because it's kind of like, you're, you're kind of like, yep, I know, okay, things are tight right now, but things have to open up again very soon. And you're very optimistic about that. So let's see what we have here. Two of Cups, the Sun, Two of Swords, Three of Cups on the bottom. Interesting energy because <laughs> Two of Cups, the love is coming out here. It could be a business partner. Two of Cups can be a business partner. Um, I feel like you, you, you're kind of wondering if things are going to work out as far as, you know, the two of swords is this doubt, like, I don't know how to make a decision. I don't know what road to take or, or, you know, how I can get off of this path. You know, the, the blindfold is over her eyes. She's not sure of the future. She's not sure of how this situation is going to end, but there is this optimism. Um, that you may find a business partner that helps you to bring in this abundance or you and um, uh, a loved one or a soulmate or a, you know, a marriage partner or a spouse or something like that that you are going to have this joy in abundance. And yet at the back of your head, right? <laughs> in the back of your mind where nobody wants to go, right? <laughs> there is this doubt. There's this doubt, there's um, this energy. I feel like there's this energy that everybody else is celebrating but you. You're concerned. Everybody else is um, a little bit of, you know, having a better time than you. Yeah. Judgment. Three of Swords. It's about taking, a, you know, what's underneath judgment? Swords. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Um, yeah, there's a, there's an energy of kind of like, you know, it's, a, it's an energy of are you going to do it from your heart or are you going to do it from your mind, right? Because we have the Swords energy and the Cups energy. But at the same time, you're... Okay, the message I'm getting is that your your mind is going to hurt your own heart. If you're if you're trying to judge what other people are doing or making decisions based on what other people are doing, this is a really interesting energy um, that you know your own fears, your own mind, your own swords are going to break your own heart. Interesting. It's about staying, staying in your heart space, staying in this positive energy about, I know that I am going to bring in this joy and abundance um, with my business partner or my soulmate, whatever, you know, I feel like this three of cups is kind of like a competitive energy. It's like us versus them. Okay. It's like us versus them. And it's kind of like, um, you know, um, uh, oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> oh, that's terrible that I can't remember. Um, you, you know, uh, David and Goliath. Thank you. David and Goliath. It's kind of a little bit like that. You know, it's kind of like we're smaller, right? We're smaller over here. They're bigger over here. They've got more going on, but it's kind of like when you step into that energy, the problem is, is that you're, you're, you're putting your focus on what they have instead of what you have. Yeah. It's about not judging, not judging yourself, comparing yourself to other people. It's about just what is it 
that you would like Scorpio or what is it that you and this other person, business partner, romantic partner, whatever, what is it that you truly want? Um, not trying to, um, yeah, because there's a strong message here. Your own swords will break your own heart. This is a game, uh, you know, it's kind of like a mind game that you really, death, there you are, you know, um, yeah, it's kind of like a mind game. I don't think you truly want to play. So, yeah, interesting. Because here is your area of resistance or your obstacle. You're waiting. You're waiting for you're waiting for the fun to come in. I do feel like you you are feeling um financially bound at this time. Or you're in a, a job commitment that isn't bringing you a lot of um, happiness, fulfillment, something like that. But it's as if you don't have a lot of options. And so you're having a hard time. You're trying to wait for something that brings you more fun, more abundance, more joy. And I feel like you're getting kind of um, a little bit anxious. Because once again, I feel like you're you're looking at everybody else and you're like, oh my goodness, look at look at what they have or they're creating or they're, you know, able to do or buy or whatever. And it's kind of like they're having, it's almost like you're, you're saying to yourself, they're having all the fun and I, I'm just sitting here waiting. You know, I'm waiting for my turn to have my fun. Yeah, all this energy of you're manifesting, you're trying to manifest. But once again, I think you're manifesting out of this energy of of us versus them, you know, um, because it, it, it's almost like you want something to work together. You want to work together um, or get this situation to work together. You could be, you know, on like two teams. Say you work at, at a company and there's two teams and maybe you're even competing against each other or something like that. I feel like you're you're pitching your idea, but you're up against some kind of competition. It's your fears about the situation that are really kind of like preventing you from stepping into this energy of being high vibe and everything, right? Because you're... You're so almost like overly worried about what somebody else is doing. You know, here's the hidden emotions, hidden motivations. Um, you know, I think it's interesting, hidden emotions. That's what I said. So what are your hidden emotions that are driving these motivations, right? Yeah, it, it's the strong sense of get committed to what it is that you truly believe. It's, it, it's becoming truly in alignment with what is good for you um, and, and taking the focus off of what is everybody else creating? What is everybody else doing? You know, um, and kind of like, you know, I'm... That, you know, a lot of times people appear to be having more fun or having more success or more fulfillment than they really are, right? Keep that in mind too, that, you know, sometimes they could have the hidden motivations acting as if, you know, everything is really hunky dory and maybe it really truly isn't, you know, they could just be hiding it very well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Eight of Swords, the only thing that's holding you back is your self-doubt that you can create this. Look at this, you're getting really determined to build the, the stable, uh, family, nurturing home that you would like to build. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress right next to each other. The Queen of Pentacles is nurturing, home and hearth, you know, builds a, a really lovely um, home environment for herself and her family, very grounded, very determined. Here you have the King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Empress. You know, being really determined, uh, uh, really going within and asking yourself, well, what does it mean? What, what is it that I am really trying to create 
the type of life that you're trying to create, how this affects, you know, your home environment, the people that are in your home, you know, um, the type of home that you have there, there's this sense of nurturing it, of almost like birthing, if you will. And some of you may even, you know, find yourself pregnant, uh, soon. It's like this energy of, okay, I'm not going to worry about what everybody else is doing. What I need to do is just be committed to me, be committed to my, you know, um, the Hierophant is also, I mean, this is almost, it's not a love reading. Okay. But it is this energy of being committed to the people in your life that you want to be committed to, whether you're married, you have children, uh, you know, family, friends, relationships, it's like, okay, I'm going to be committed to that. It, some of you might be looking at other people in your same age group or something. There is a little bit of, okay, I'm looking at them and where are they in their life? And am I, there's this sense of competing, you know? Um, and it's, it, the advice here is really strong about, no, be committed to you. Be committed to what it is that is really important to you. Really important to you. Figure out what is your sun? <laughs> you know, the sun is everything you could ever imagine. What is it that you want? And then being really committed to that, making decisions based on that. Understanding, I feel like you're on this narrow pathway right now because uh, you don't have a lot of options open to you. And one of the reasons is, is because I feel like your angels know that at this time, you may be um, kind of like uh, comparing yourself to a lot of other different people, you know, either at work, family, friends, whatever, social group, whatever. You're kind of like, almost like comparing yourself. So the angels are saying, okay, we're just going to take Scorpio onto this narrow, narrow path where there are no options until Scorpio figures out exactly what is it really important to them. It's like when you step into this energy of saying, okay, what's really important when I get down to my core values, your core values, not the core values of your family or your friends or your society or the people you work with, when you get committed to what is really important to you, guess what? The options open up. It's, it's, you really are being protected. If you're, I know some of you are going to be sitting there going, Mary Sue, seriously, <laughs> why would they cut off my options? They're cutting off your options because they're trying to protect you from making the wrong, taking a wrong option. Because at this time, just see how this works, right? You ha you're, you're making choices not based on what is best for your higher good or what is best for your family, right? You're making decisions um, based on, you know, um, hidden motivations, fear of not fitting in or fear of not having what everybody else has. But you, you, Scorpio, just ask yourself, okay, say you have a friend that just got a brand new fancy sports car or whatever, and you're just like, I mean, we all go there, right? Oh my goodness, I wish I had that car, you know? That's such a great car, wish I had that car. So, okay, give yourself, you know, five minutes with that, and then ask yourself, do you really want that car? The car is so small. It only holds two teeny tiny suitcases. When you go on a trip, you might want to take five suitcases, right? Uh, when you go to the grocery store, you can only get a few things. You can't get, you know, um, if paper towels are on sale, if you buy, you know, 12 rolls, <laughs> right, or something, you, you can't take advantage of that bargain, right? I don't know. Because, you know, your car is so small. Uh, it's so low to the ground. It, it hurts when you get in and out of it. It's so difficult to get in and out of. You know, if, if you do have a baby, uh, sorry, but you're not going to be able to get that baby in that car, you know? I mean, it's kind of like when you get realistic about what it is that you really want, I feel like you're going to understand that what you truly want, 
what is really your core values, what is really important to you, is not what is important to the other people that you are kind of comparing yourself to. And so that's why your angels are keeping your options narrow. They're like, we just, uh, we, they love you so much. <laughs> they just don't want you to go down the wrong path. So we have friends and family guides. We have the nine of wands. This is kind of like, um, a, you know, a long journey of trying to, I feel like you're really and truly figuring out what it is that you truly love, learning what it is that you truly love and learning how to really love what it is that you love so that you don't self-sabotage yourself. It's, um, you know, truly healing, understanding, hey, I'm going down a different path than everybody. I, you know, I, I like to, um, you know, drive a, a minivan instead of a sports car. That's okay. I like my minivan, you know, or whatever it is that you're understanding that when you heal, when you accept what it is that you truly want and you commit to it and you don't allow, it's almost like put blinders on, don't allow anybody or your, your feelings about what other people have that you don't have um, deter you from what it is that you truly want for yourself. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles. This is a long journey. It's a good journey though. The Knight of Pentacles is that wonderful night that shows us that we're going through a part of our path very slowly, but it's in order to help us to build a strong foundation for the future. Um, it's understanding that pretty soon you will be communicating, okay, and celebrating um, your decisions. You're not, you're not going to be waffling anymore. You're going to make decisions that are really and truly based on what it is that you want for yourself. That, you know, is, a, it's kind of like a very... It's a hard lesson, isn't it, Scorpio? <laughs> because, you know, today we are so bombarded with social media and stuff like that. Um, commercials that tell us what we're supposed to buy and look like and uh, want to go, where we're supposed to want to go and who we're supposed to want to be with. Um, there's this energy of really kind of like sitting with what it is that you truly want. Yeah. Okay, how can I surrender even more in this moment? It is essential to have clear, strong intentions of what we desire, but it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome. It's time to surrender. Let the universe have some breathing room to work. Let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet, but you know is coming. Yeah, because, you know, sometimes when things are not coming in as quickly as we want them to, right, then we get kind of impatient and we're like, okay, well, what does everybody else have? <laughs> you know, and we get kind of fixated on that. You have some really nice stuff coming in because look at, I mean, I really do for, for some of you, I feel like this is almost like a family reading, you know, like it's your career money, but I feel like it's almost like a family um, type of energy here. Find your star family in this cosmic game of hide and seek. And if you feel like you're not fitting in, like you, you haven't found your family yet, you're looking for your family. I feel like when you commit to what it is that is your true beliefs, right? Your core values, not the core values of your family, not the core values of your friends. What is important to Scorpio, then you will find your star family. They will come in um, and you will um, find the people. You know, sometimes we want to drive the same car as the people we hang out with, right? Because we want to feel like we fit in or we want to wear the same kind of clothes or something like that. It's about stepping into, you know what, that doesn't, that just really doesn't work for me. You know, all my friends drive sport cars, but I really like a minivan. It, it feels safer and it's bigger. And, you know, I like to go and buy a lot of flowers and, you know, it gives me a lot more space. I sit up higher, you know, it's, it's kind of this energy of, well, why am I going to drive a sports car? If I really like a minivan, you know, and if my friends are going to make fun of me because of what I'm driving, 
And are they really my friends? You know, I mean, we all kind of like, you know, might kid each other, that sibling rivalry kind of kidding. But I feel like there is this energy of, you know, I, I'm really going to go my way and, you know, and, and live my life <laughs> by my core values instead of what everybody else wants. All right. I am always ready to take advantage of opportunities presented to me. And I do feel like when you step into this energy of committing to yourself, to your beliefs, um, then all of a sudden these opportunities, I'm, I'm not kidding, Scorpio. I feel like they just, you know, this narrow pathway all of a sudden has all these exits, you know, good opportunities are on your way. Really lovely energy. All right, I'm leaving it there, Scorpio. Um, I do wish you so much love and light in this situation. Please be kind and compassionate with yourself while you're going through this because I think, you know, you are doing some inner work here when you're trying to figure out what's really important to you. And if you do feel like there's a lot of opportunities, like, you know, you hear about a job opening and then when you go to put in your resume, you hear, oh, well, that job's already been filled or something like that. Understand that at this time, your angels truly are protecting you and only allowing opportunities to truly open up for you that are going to help you to really step into your core values. So, and I do do personal readings if you're interested. The link is in the description box below. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.